Dr. Jonathan Davis brought up a, uh, a bell from Portland. Yeah, uh, it's up could, here. If you could enlighten us on that. Okay. okay. Uh, it's up here to Bates College right this minute, hanging. And I told somebody about that here a couple of three years ago. He had something to do with Bates College. Well, somehow or another, he crawled up and he told me there's writing on it, and I can't remember. But yeah, my, let's see, the bell come in, was shipped in from England to Boston. And what would it be, Lee Davis's son, I think? Son sent a man, must have been more than a man, as that be, seemed to me too, with oxen to Boston to pick the bell up to bring back and gave it to Bates College. And different ones have said to me, well, why didn't they have it shipped in down Portland? They had boats coming back then. I said, I don't know. I wasn't here. All I know, it landed in Boston. But I don't know, and I thought I did at one time, on how many days the trip was from here. Must have been quite a few days, as we all know, with oxen. Oh, yeah. And going, probably a pair of oxen, you'd do, what, 10 miles in a day, I imagine. So, and that's still over at Bates College. That's up somewhere. Bates College. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Do you know where it is, or? No. Well, I'm going to ask my son if he can help me. Do you know on where this. the bell is? It's up there in the, in the in the tower. I can't tell. In the tower. Okay. Who was uh, when I checked that all out, Jerry? Here, a couple of years uh, ago. A friend of ours was here. He had a uh, uh, friend. He has a security guard. Yo. Up there, and they got a younger man. Cause they said, I guess it's. It's quite what a, a job, job to get, get up to the task, and because he didn't, he didn't believe us, and he went up and he said, "Sure enough, there's a plot up there and everything." Hmm. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, yeah. I have so to you, check that if out. you climb up, come back and tell yeah. me, will you? Yeah. <laughs> Take a picture. Yeah.